interesting. Like I said earlier, all you have to do is head over to YouTube, click the subscribe button and notification so that you can be kept live on what is happening right here at the Suleimanu Convocation Square. And right now I'm being joined by one prestigious individual. He happens to be the compare of this wonderful and amazing ceremony. His name is Mr. Ogwaja Stanley. Good morning, sir. And how are you doing today? I'm fine. Thank you very much, yeah. So, sir, you have been the compare of this occasion for many, many, many years. What would you say is different about today's event? Um, thank you very much. Um, um, today's event is very significant in two ways. Um, you know, um, we're celebrating the 38th Founders Day of this great citadel of learning, Federal University of Technology, MENA, as well as the 30th Convocation Ceremony of this great university. And one interesting aspect about this event is also the fact that the um, Chancellor designate um, His Imperial Majesty Obala de Toibo, the Deji of Akure, and also the Chairman Undo State Council of Obas will be in vestiture today um, before the official commencement of convocation ceremony as the University Chancellor. So it promises to be a very fulfilling and rewarding event, particularly for the graduates, where we shall and the university community. Wow, that is such an amazing and fun-filled day. So any advice do you have for the graduates, people who will be graduating today, people who will be conferred first degrees after six years? What would you advise them or what would you tell them? I think my, my advice to them is very simple. It's just for them to be uh, focused. And this is a new chapter in their life. And for us, the Federal University of Technology, Mina, we're always proud of our graduates because of the quality of um, uh, training and learning they've gone through over the years. So my advice to them is when they go out there into the um, labor market, the larger society, they should not forget their hammer matter and they should be a good ambassador of this great university. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, I do not want to conclude without wishing you a very, very happy birthday. Today also happens to be Mr. Wada Stanley's birthday. And we just want to wish you a happy birthday from all of us at Search TV. We say a very, very happy birthday to you. We wish you prosperity, long life, and many more years. Thank you very much. And I'm a, I must commend you all. You guys are doing a very good job. Thank you. Thank, thank you very, you much. very We're much. We're proud of Search FM. We're proud of Search TV. We're proud of the entire crew. Thank you very much. Thank you. From the Federal University of Technology Mina. This is Search TV. From the Federal University of Technology Mina. Good morning, sir, and how are you doing, sir, this morning? All right, sir. So, sir, being a one-time VC and visit, visiting us today for this wonderful event, how would you describe the growth and development of FUT from all that you have observed? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm happy that I was here before. That was between 2007 and 2012 as the Vice Chancellor of this university. And uh, I'm even happier in the sense that uh, those who, uh, who worked with me that time, I saw the deputy vice chancellors, and so they have now become uh, leaders of the university, particularly the new vice chancellor now. The, uh, well, very soon he'll be going, the <laughs> present vice chancellor, who was my deputy vice chancellor at the administration. And he has carried along all the people that worked with me at that time, uh, including, of course, my deputy vice chancellor, academic professor, A.O. Osunde. Uh, my dean of uh, student affairs also became a deputy vice chancellor at the time. In fact, twice, one as DVC at the meet and later as DVC academic. I was also quite close with the present DVC academic and of course Professor uh, Kuta, who happens to be deputy vice chancellor uh, academic now. I'm happy to know what I'm doing because. I really was interested in developing this in the university, and they have taken even more giant strides than I had. Uh, and I'm happy that they have made very good use of uh, 
uh, the money they got through uh, this assessment and touch fund, uh, which we I'm, I'm greatly happy about. And uh, we can see that two schools, majorly two schools, um, the School of Life Science and School of Physical Sciences have been completed and even punished and uh, be commissioned this time around. Um, I'm equally happy because I started the School of High City and I loved the school so much. It was a new school, but I understand too that uh, the buildings there have also been completed. I haven't seen them. Uh -huh. So maybe during commissioning today, I'll, I'll do that. And uh, they've not, they have not let down the university in terms of standards in education. Um, so many students, I remember this particular set now that's graduating, uh, 3,000 of them there about are graduating. But how somebody told me that about 7,000 of them came in uh, in 100 level, and which means 4,000 are gone, I don't know by whatever means. Uh, that means standard is being uh, maintained. Nothing can be better than that. I'm really grateful. And I hope uh, all the people who are involved in this matter, I wish them well, and I wish them uh, um, higher position in this life. Sir. Mm. Thank you very much, sir. All right, sir. So today is the conferment of first degrees. And we're going to be seeing students who have spent over six years in the university, one year extra due to the COVID-19 pandemic. What advice will you be giving them, sir, on this beautiful day? Well, um, as they come and they are going now, I think they should, first of all, give thanks and glory to Almighty God that has brought them and they've gone successfully. I mentioned to you that some people have fell down, fell off uh, on the wayside, and uh, it's, well, it's, it's not, they usually say that it's because of their power, it's because of the power of Almighty God. And uh, when they go outside there, they should be careful because student life is different from uh, life over there. Uh, and it, certain things that they have done, uh, they did well in school, uh, that they, they went scot free, they are not going to go scot free now, they can get arrested anytime and then it could be a big problem for them. So they should mind their own business, and let other people mind their own business. And they should also strive for, for the best. They should be truthful anywhere they are, and uh, they should not cause any problem. All right, sir. Thank you so much, sir. We are blessed to have you here. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, we are all right, so that was a one-time VC of this prestigious university in the person of Professor M.S. Alduanya. If you heard those wonderful words that he has rendered, he has talked about the technological advancement and infrastructural development of the university, as well as some amazing and wise Subscribe words. Search TV on YouTube. Search for Search TV and click the subscribe button. radio and now search media and we are blessed to have him right here we want to have a brief interaction with him he is professor osunde good morning sir and how are you doing sir good morning i'm happy to be with you yes sir all right sir you have really stayed in this university for quite a long time yes. and you have witnessed the four-year tenure of our amazing vice chancellor in the person of professor bala muhammad um sir we want Professor Abdullahi Bala. Sir, how would you describe his administration so far? Fantastic. Yeah. For a young man, he has done excellently well within this short period uh, of time. He has uh, exceeded our expectations, actually. Uh, I must confess, if you look at some of the innovations he has brought on board, the project that are presently being commissioned over to the three within the space of four years is really done excellently well. Wow, thank you so much, sir. My so, sir, as the godfather of this media organization, yes. what advice would you give to graduates who are being conferred first degrees today? 
Well, I will give them all the advice the parents can give to the children. Uh, usually, I tell them, you go out there, prove your worth, and be not good, excellent ambassadors of Federal University of Technology. Because you've been found worthy in character and learning. And uh, we are sending you out into the world. We've not had disappointment from our previous <laughs> students at that level. And I think this will not be an exception. I wish them all the best and uh, better prospect in life. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. All right, so that was it from Professor Usunde, and you have heard his wise words advising graduates and also talking about the administration of our vice chancellor so far. And yes, I will still be here with you, giving you live update on all that is happening right here at the Suleimanu Convocation Square. But now we'll be heading over back to the studio to keep up with search on radio so don't forget if you want to be here you want to see all that is happening live subscribe to our youtube channel hit the notification bell and you will be kept up to date Yes, once again, we're back here and we're live at Search TV on YouTube. And like I said, we're going to be having lots of interactions and interviews today. I'm being joined here by another amazing and prestigious individual of this university. He is the former DVC academic in the person of Professor Y.A. Iyaka. Good morning, sir. And how are you doing this morning? Good morning. I'm fine. All right, sir. So, sir, all that you have observed at this convocation event, how would you describe what is happening here today, sir? Well, um, I would say, well, superfluously excellent. Uh, we've never had it this way for quite many years in the past. But in totality, we give glory to God. And we are so very much happy for the achievement of the, president, the current Vice Chancellor, Professor Abdullah Ibala. We thank God for him, and we thank God for his achievements. All right, sir. Thank you very much. So, so you have happened to work with the Vice Chancellor of this university, the President of Professor Abdullah Ibala. How would you describe his administration and all that they have been able to achieve in his four-year tenure? Oh, wow. Um, taking about his four years achievement, you are. Wow. It's so great to keep the account. But what I just want to say that while he's a good leader, I can take it from him. Um, he's, uh, of course, a man of confidence. He's a man that is very well focused about what he wants. And uh, of course, also destiny has it for him. Uh, because uh, to see for, you can see from the uh, commission of the project. Yes, sir. Uh, quite a lot of schools being commissioned. 
and the expansion of those on the ground. School of Physical Sciences coming here to the permanent site. School of uh, Life Sciences coming to the permanent site. Postgraduate School, extension of School of Hagri. Um, no Ban Chancellor has had it that way. Well, we thank God for him, and we thank God for the achievement he has uh, obtained so far. All right, thank you very much, sir. You're so welcome. having been the former DVC academic of this university, what projections, or will I say, what desires would you like to see the university advance in, in terms of infrastructural growth and bridging the gap between the industry and academia? Um, you see, of course, in time of um, infrastructure, as we said, the vice chancellor done quite so much. I think the only school I'll stand the probably at the end of it all will maybe school of um, uh, science uh, and technology education, uh, which I believe, uh, God willing, very soon, that will also come here. Well, in terms of the industrial relation, you know, actually there are what we call a triple helix. For us to have um, a well-developed nation, the government, the industrial sector, and the academics must work together. Unfortunately, of course, so many things militate against our, our industry not working. Particularly power energy is a challenge. But uh, what well, we want to see with time, with all the reforms coming, particularly from NLPC, from the presentation yesterday, we have a great hope. With improvement from that hand, of course, many industries will come on board. Our industry can be on board. Of course, no industry will survive without the conclusion of academics, because it cannot do without research. And of course, we are the core center of research. So that, thank you. All right, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, thank thank you. you very much. It's my pleasure to be here. All right, And I sir. want to commend Touch FM too for your work. Thank you. Well, well done, well done, and well done. Thank you. Thank you. All right, sir. Yeah. All right, so that was the former DVC academic in the person of Professor Y.A. Iyaka. And you have heard all that he has said concerning infrastructural growth, bridging the gap between academia and the industry. He has said so many things and it is worth noting and it is worth taking note of. Still having interactions, still having uh, interviews with different prestigious members of this uh, university. And it's, good, it's really been interesting having to hear all that they've had to say so yes i'm being joined by another amazing and prestigious individual his name is professor soe sadiku good morning sir how are you doing sir this good, morning good morning yes sir my uncle lady yes sir happy to meet you yes sir. so how do you feel to be here today today is the 38th founders day and 38 convocation ceremony how do you feel to be here sir i feel highly elated that we're witnessing this day in FUT Mina. A great day, and it's tagged a, a mega convocation ceremony. Thank you very much. All right, sir. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you have observed so many changes and developments in the school. So what commendations do you have for the university? First of all, we give glory to God for the journey so far. Yeah. And we'll give credit to past leaders, to the peer leader, the vice chancellor of the university, the council, management, staff, and students for the achievement over the past few years. We have become a campus of choice. Structurally, we have a benefit campus that can be called world class. And in content, we have programs, first of its kind in this university, cybersecurity, mechatronics, innovative programs that are well accredited globally. So we are proud to be in a world class university, well structured, well situated, campus of choice globally. Thank you very much. Wow, thank you so much, sir. Mm -hmm. Saturday, there will be conferment of first degrees for students who have spent over five years in this university. What advice do you have to these graduates today? The only advice I have for them is to continue to keep the FUT in a spirit. Hard work, hard work, hard work. You heard that we have several first class. We have other levels of degrees. And our graduates are flying high out there. We want those ones graduating from here today to go and fly higher than the ones already flying high out there. We are proud of our graduates in worthy character, worthy in learning. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Grateful. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much. All right, God sir. bless you too.
Thank you. So that was Professor S.O.E. Sadiku, and you have heard all the wise words that he has said, his advice to graduates, and all that he has been able to observe in terms of development and growth in this prestigious university. Like I said, today is all about celebration. We're having lots of interactions, interviews with different members, prestigious members of this university. We're also going to keep having interactions with principal officers of the university. So all you have to do to keep up to date with all that is happening live here is to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be kept up to date with all that is happening here. We are live at the Suleimanu Convocation Square where the 38 Founders Day and 38 Convocation Ceremony is happening live. This event is supposed to kickstart at about 11 a.m. We'll be expecting graduates to be seated here at the venue at around 10.30 so that they will be able to attend and be part of this ceremony. Yes, the canopies are set, graduates are coming in, and it is all joy and celebration here. The day is definitely purple. Still having interactions and interviews with prestigious members of this university, I am being joined by another prestigious member. He is Professor M.A. Akanji. Good morning, sir. How are you doing, sir, this morning? Uh, I'm fine, thank you very much. Yes, I'm sir. Fine. So, sir, how does it feel to be here? Uh, as a former vice chancellor of Federal University of Technology, any time I come here and I see anything happening like this, I feel excited. Wow. I'm so much excited, positively so. Wow. So, having been the former vice chancellor of this prestigious university, how would you describe the growth and development from all that you have observed coming here today? I left here December. 2017. Coming here yesterday, I've seen a phenomenal improvement, especially in terms of infrastructure. It is tremendous. It is wonderful. To think that within the space of four years, we can have this type of development is at one. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. So in this new age and time, we're trying to bridge the gap between the industry and academia. So what advice would you have to the Federal University of Technology in terms of their infrastructural growth and development? What should they do or what should they put in place to be able to bridge that gap? Thank you. In fact, in, by 2022-2023 session, the Nigeria, uh, National University Commission is introducing a new curricula for all programs and it has taken the triple helix of government, universities and industry into consideration. I think as a University of Technology, we, it will not be difficult for us to fit in into that triple helix model. We, in terms of infrastructure, we are doing very well. In terms of manpower, we are fine. And I think our students are one of the best we can find in any Nigerian university. I am saying this because I should know. I have traversed more than 14 Nigerian universities uh, in recent times, and I know what I'm saying. Wow, wow, thank you so much, it sir. It is my pleasure. So, sir, any last words or wise words for our graduates? I, I think our students should continue with the, with the method of being serious. I was impressed when I read the uh, press conference wow. for the Vice Chancellor that 58 of us will be having first class. Yes, sir, it definitely. shows the seriousness with which we attend to our program. So I will encourage our students to continue being very good students, shown thuggery, shown demonstration as they used to do, and the administration will be pleased to take care of their needs. Thank you it so much, pleasure. sir. Thank you, sir. It's it a pleasure, pleasure to have you here, Thank sir. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. All right, so that was Professor M.A. Akanji, a former vice chancellor of this prestigious university. Like I have said, this is a day for celebration. We have heard all the wise words, all the remarkable words from these prestigious members, from all that they have been able to observe, their commendations to this prestigious university, their advice to graduates, and it has been so, so enlightening. We have been able to learn from all that they have been able to say. All right, so we're going to keep having interactions. We're going to have interviews. As you can see, our graduates are getting seated. It's purple, purple, purple everywhere. So trust us, we will keep you up to date with all that is happening. Remember, we are live on YouTube. So subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we will keep you up to date. The program will kick start 
11 a.m. sharp. So do not forget that we will be here to give you the live update. It's happening right here at the Suleimanu Kumu Convocation Square. From the Federal University of Technology, Mina.